Well, first things first, y'all are shutting down Hollywood Boulevard tonight. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm from LA, born and raised, so anytime I'm here at Hollywood Boulevard, it reminds me of my childhood. It feels very surreal. You know, I was telling Dr. Dre, LA is another character in this yeah, movie. It, is. it truly is. It really is. I think we were excited to bring that energy, that story to this, you know, the previous films, the first one especially, took place in Philadelphia, and I came to love that city, but this is my hometown, so it's a pleasure to honor it in the context of these films. You're a coward, bro, and a fraud. Try spending half your life in a cell. Watching somebody else live your life. I had to draw the lava. I'm just getting started, little brother. I had to draw the lava to my brothers and my enemies. I'm coming for it all. So the film's not only about to drop. Michael just dropped the Calvin Klein ad on us. <laughs> yes, he what did. What are our thoughts, Tessa? I, you know, some thoughts you don't, you can't talk about. You know, some thoughts just exist. They're more feelings than thoughts. You know, no, I tried I'm to proud count of the it. abs. I, I stopped at like 14. I stopped. I was like, just too many. Enough. Too much. This is the first film without Sylvester Stallone in the Creed legacy. What do you think the fans are going to think when they see this? How they will appreciate it? I really do feel like Sly is so much a part of the DNA of these films that I think they'll feel his spirit even though he's not himself on screen. And do you see, I think where this left off, I always think there's a lot of story still to be told. What do you think? I think as long as fans are excited to, to see us, we're excited to come back and return to these characters. We love playing them.